interesting thing is they've actually launched a new feature called Cameo for Business. So previously, when let's say I wanted to pay Neil like $200 to make a video for me, I could not use that for marketing. Today, we are going to talk about marketing trends that we're excited about for Q2 of 2022. So I'll start it off first. Um, I just had a um, interesting conversation with the CEO of uh, Cameo. And um, they're actually, um, when you think about it, using Cameo. So for example, Cameo is basically, you can have influencers make videos for you, right? It can be like for motivational stuff. It can be like for, if I wanted to surprise Neil for his birthday or something, I can have Kevin O'Leary say, Neil, I'm going to give you some money or whatever. But the interesting thing is they've actually launched a new feature called Cameo for business. So previously when, let's say I wanted to pay Neil like $200 to make a video for me, I could not use that for marketing. Now, you actually can for Cameo for Business. So, because here's an example. Um, when people used to hit up the former NFL quarterback of the Green Bay Packers, uh, Brett Favre, uh, a lot of people in Wisconsin, car dealerships would want to have him uh, make videos, right? But he just didn't, I mean, he wasn't trying to make these videos. Like that's the stuff he didn't want to do, right? Now Cameo has actually made something new where it's like, hey, if you're an influencer and you want to make, if you want to make videos to help businesses and you can get paid more than uh, use Cameo for business, right? And you can actually use this in your ads. You can use this in your stories as well. So what this means from my perspective, why I'm excited about it is because people are, people like to do business with people. And then also this is like another creative outlet, right? Like if you're, if you're like running out of creative ideas, like, well, just put it in the hands of these influencers. And they're also typically they're pretty creative people too. Yeah, another trend that we're seeing is we've talked about voice commerce before, but we're actually seeing more and more revenue from voice commerce. Um, it's really popular. If you can optimize for it, you can do really well. A lot of people take it for granted, but I think it's going to boom more in Q2. Honestly, I don't think we're even scratching the surface of voice commerce. I think within two to three years, you're really going to start seeing it take off. So get in early. I think we're going to see a big rise in community managers. I'm struggling with that for our NFT project right now. Like we need more community managers on the Twitter side or the discord side. Like hit me up if you're, if you hit me up on Twitter or Instagram, if, if you want a community job, it's really hard to find good people that also the other things right now in web three too, is that there's a, actually um, our mutual friend Heaton tweeted this, like there's a lack of professionalism in that space. So for people that do know how to work and then they do know how to execute, that's, um, that's going to be few and far between. So um, community managers, like, I think that's going to be like the new social media role from like the 2010s when people didn't consider that like a job. I think it's just going to skyrocket in the next 12 months. Another trend that we're going to start seeing in the next few months is more and more people are going to start doing marketing for the web three. Um, web three is taking off like a wildfire. I'm not talking about cryptocurrency prices like Bitcoin or anything like that. I'm just talking about the use of web three technology. Just imagine if you can get paid for your salary on an hourly basis and it can track then instantly issue you money, or you can do money transfers to places like Ukraine, right? If they're struggling, a lot of banking systems cut off and boom, you just send money to people over there to help them out, right? That's the power of web three. A lot of companies are starting to use that technology within their businesses. Now the question is, is how do you market? Because a lot of the end users don't understand web three or even how to leverage it yet. Yep. I think what's old is going to become new again. So you talk about influencer, you talk about PR stuff and you talk about events. I think we're just going to see more of that because marketing is getting harder. Um, I actually had a conversation with a mutual friend last week and uh, we were just talking about, even though we come from like a paid media and SEO background, that stuff just isn't working as well anymore. And so what that means is, you know, my, my, our, our friend was just like, Hey, what's working really well right now is actually the influencer and the brand stuff. Like we're crushing it with that. Right. And so I think we're going to see a lot more of that. And it's going to be a lot of, um, a lot more kind of look, markets to get harder, but that, that means more hand-to-hand -hand combat, but that also means, uh, less competition for you because, um, most people aren't willing to work that hard. Right. Neil. And speaking of less competition, funny enough, it was my last trend. I think uh, I, I'm no economist, so I can't predict the future, but a lot of businesses are struggling with rising interest rates. Uh, debt payments become harder. I do think marketing is going to get a little bit easier over the next three to six months, especially on the recruiting end, um, or even when it comes to going out there and performing, because when stock markets you know, go up in turmoil or fluctuate a lot, Businesses start uh, restricting, and one of the first places they start restricting their spending is in marketing, which makes it a little bit less competitive for other people. 
All right, so that is it for today. Marketingschool.io slash live. That's L-I-V-E. Um, events happening April 25th to the 27th. Come hang out with awesome founders, creators, and investors, and we'll catch you later.